The world of health and wellness is like an intricate maze, filled with diverse paths that can lead you to potential well-being. Today, we'll guide you down one such curious path, a 30-day food fast. Yes, you had it right. But, hold on, we're not suggesting you to embark on this drastic journey. Instead, our mission is to unravel the mystery of what happens inside your body when you refrain from eating for 30 days. Does it lead to a miraculous health breakthrough? Or could it crumble your health brick by brick? You'll have to watch until the very end for an unexpected revelation. So, imagine you've boarded the 30-day food fast train. The initial hours might seem like a breeze. But within the first 6 to 72 hours, the scenario changes. Your body, finding its usual glucose supply cut off, turns to the emergency backup, glycogen, a form of sugar stored in your muscles and liver. A backup plan has been activated, but for how long? Fast forward to the end of the first week, the glucose reserves have run out, and your body faces a critical choice, starve or adapt. The choice is clear. It chooses to adapt. A process known as ketosis kicks in, where your body starts to burn fat for energy, leading to potential weight loss. But it's not a walk in the park. You might feel tired, experience nausea, and even suffer from mental fog. Your body is essentially crying out for its familiar fuel source. Now, let's jump to the two-week mark. If you've managed to hold on through the discomfort, you're in for a fascinating surprise. Your body, now getting used to burning fat, starts churning out a larger amount of ketones. These chemicals, made in your liver, have been linked to a reduction in inflammation and they might even play a role in protecting your brain cells. Interesting, isn't it? Enter week three, and the transformation continues. You may notice your senses sharpening, and your mind clearing. Some people report uncanny mental clarity, but it's crucial to acknowledge the flip side. The prolonged absence of food can lead to serious nutrient deficiencies and muscle loss, potentially hampering your body's normal functionality. As you reach the end of the 30-day food fast, your body is now a seasoned player in the game of ketosis. But fasting isn't just about shedding pounds. It's like hitting the reset button on your system, initiating a recalibration of several metabolic processes. However, prolonged fasting can have potentially harmful long-term impacts, which is why it's always wise to consult with a healthcare professional before taking such a significant step. There's more to this fasting journey than meets the eye. It isn't just about the physical changes, but it also holds psychological significance. A drastic change in your eating habits can trigger mood swings, frustration, and anxiety. Food isn't just sustenance, it's also a bonding tool and holds cultural and social value. An absence of this can lead to a sense of isolation and create a domino effect on your mental well-being. In essence, a 30-day food fast is akin to walking a tightrope. There are potential benefits like weight loss, reduced inflammation, and heightened mental clarity. However, the risks are equally significant, encompassing nutrient deficiencies, muscle loss, and potential psychological challenges. So, is this extreme practice worth the gamble, or should we look for a more balanced, sustainable approach to health and wellness? The answer may leave you stunned. Join us in our next episode as we continue to decipher this captivating subject. Remember, health isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. Each body is a unique universe and responds differently. Therefore, it's important to understand and respect our body's individual needs and signals. Keep exploring, keep learning, and continue shining your brilliance. After all, our journey to health and wellness is a marathon, not a sprint.